In today's video, we'll be going over how to add easy and or lazy scales to your characters. Uh, this will mostly be an overlay method that you can have your character's pre-existing skin texture and then add this on top of that texture. And you can use this method for multiple things as well as I'll be doing shoutouts for other videos I've done if you're curious about how I did any of the other effects for this character. So stay tuned and I'll be sure to add links in the upper right hand corner as we continue. So I've got my character here, I'm going to head up to the shading. Then in shading what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it my character a completely new uh, texture. So I'm going to do plus. So as you guys can see my character has a completely new skin texture here. So the first thing that we're going to do is with our new texture we're going to add a new material while in shading. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to our browser and type in ambient CG and explore assets. And when exploring, we are going to search specifically for roof. I think it's roofing. And you're gonna see a lot of odd roofs. So the reason I'm doing roofing specifically is because we're looking for a pattern that overlays on top of itself basically. And you'll see we've got a couple options. Here's one, here's one. Um, I, The one that I think I'm going to go with is just this one right here. And so then I'm just going to click download. So let's do a 2K because it's going to be so teeny that 4K seems kind of overkill. Then head over to your downloads and we're going to do extract all, browse, and then just head over to the folder that you typically extract your textures into. Select folder and then extract. Okay, so now head back over to Blender and make sure your principal BSDF is selected when you do control shift T. Head over to wherever you just downloaded and extracted that file texture into. I've got roofing tiles uh, number four right here. So then I'm going to select, I'm going to hold control then hold shift, select all those. You should see in the lower left hand corner, principled texture setup, and then you select that. And I did forget to mention, make sure you have when doing this, uh, edit preferences and you should have node wrangler installed or slash enabled so make sure node wrangler is enabled and that's what's going to allow you to do uh, your principal bsdf setup so now that we have this it's not looking quite right <laughs> it just looks like her skin's like uh, weirdly rocky so first thing we're going to do is we're going to up the scale. We shouldn't have to do any weird UV unwrapping really. And already you can see that's looking pretty good. Uh, very scaly. So I'm going to up it to about 50 for this one. And next thing I'm going to do also, I might end up rotating this so that the scales are going downward on her face at least. So let's see the rotation and what direction we're going to have to rotate it into. So it looks like if I do negative uh, 90, that should get me roughly the rotation I think I want on the face. And the rotation looks fine on the arms as well. So now what we want to do is we want to make this look more like it's at least somewhat fleshy and not just a super dark rock on her face. We're going to add our own skin texture for our character and kind of overlay this texture beneath that one so that we'll have a scale effect but still have skin. So what we're going to do is still in shading, head down here and do shift A search and we're going to add image texture. So with our image texture, um, I already have a texture created. If you don't know how to do that for uh, skin image texture, click on this video in the upper right hand corner. 
Uh, it'll show you how to make one real fast and then come back to this video and we can continue. So I'm going to open up the skin texture and then I've got Mystique Skin PNG. So I'm just going to open that. And then um, just so you guys can see, I'm going to hook that up. And already I've kind of got what I want just by hooking that up because of the tiles uh, in the normal here. But it's not quite what I want because it's a little harsh slash strong. Uh, like to me that's a little too much and her skin looks very flat. Do shift A. Then we're going to add a mix. Change it to color. Uh, change that color to add and drop it okay so there's that now we're also going to go to this texture that we disconnected and place that in B and we're going to search color ramp um, I'm just gonna actually put both these as close as I can to heighten the uh, scales and have them stand out more and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to make these scales a little bit more subtle. <laughs> so what I need to do is head over to the scale for the displacement on those scales. And I just need to lower this as well as lower the strength for my normal map. So something right around there, but let's up this scale a bit. Let's do like 0.02. And these scales are looking pretty good. They're a little bit more subtle and that's kind of nice and what I want. So if you see, if you go back on the character, uh, just right, you'll see she still has scales on her arms. However, it's a little bit lighter. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I want this character to look more fleshy. So two things you can do to do that by adding pores, because I know she ha it's scales, but we're also gonna add pores to the scales because this is like a fictional character and I think it helps a little bit. To do that, we are going to do Shift A search and we're gonna type in Voronoi texture. And then we're gonna do Shift A search, type in float curve. Shift A search, type in, what is it called? <laughs> type in bump. And then we are also going to do Shift A search mix. And change the float to color and then yet again change this to add. Slip it in there. Then slip that normal right there. So slip, uh, connect the bump to the normal on B. Then float curve, the value should go to height and Voronoi texture color should go to value. And then instead of F1, do smooth F1 for the Voronoi texture. And we're gonna wanna increase this quite a bit, probably to something closer to almost 4,000. And right now, obviously that's too much. It's overshadowing the scale texture. Uh, so what we wanna do is we wanna diminish this quite a bit. We are going to do, let's try distance 0 0.002. Well, that looks a little bit better. Okay. And then, yes, I know we've got a lot going on already, but let's just literally control, uh, select all of those pores that you just made, then do Shift D to duplicate. And we're going to do another add and add them in. However, we're going to do 6,000 for this one. And let's mess with our float curve just like that. Now, the next thing we need to do is mess with the skin shininess, basically. So I think we don't have to do anything too complicated here. You see the roughness that it has. Let's just literally disconnect that. <laughs> and now with the roughness, we are going to either heighten it or lower it, depending on what you want. So you'll see if I literally just lower it a little bit, 
the scales are going to be much more noticeable just because of the reflections of the character. And this is a weird one you don't usually want to do, but just because it's scaly and it's kind of a weird skin texture, not a normal one, I'm going to up the metallic to give my character more of a metallic feel. Up the specular. And let's mess with that roughness a bit so it doesn't look too weird. And now we are also going to increase, kind of subtly, the uh, subsurface of the principal BSDF. And so I'm going to select kind of a purple bluish pastel for my uh, subsurface color. And then I'm going to increase to give it a slightly more fleshy feel. And honestly, that's pretty good just right there. Um, as you can see, it's much more fleshy. Scales have very weird properties. So it's up to you kind of how... Uh, I know this is a trigger word for some people, but how moist <laughs> you want that those scales to appear. Um, but this is kind of a good consistency for me. Uh, it helps the scales stand out. And you can see slight pores... Uh, coming from the scales and it's very subtle so I think that that looks pretty good I don't think I have anything else to show you um, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video I hope it was helpful there's certain things that you might be able to do better by following other videos um, but for Eevee this is one of the few methods that I found that looks good and works with Eevee as well because a lot of people just show for cycles so but anyway, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I hope you did find it helpful. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if it was helpful, any one of these three things would be extremely helpful. Please consider either leaving a like, comment, or best of all, subscribing to the channel for future videos. Thank you guys again so much. I hope you liked it and have a terrific day.